Hey dear friends, we are going to approach English in a new way, not the traditional and conventional way of grammar and sentences and vocabulary. There is a, the right path is there and this is the right path. When your mind goes blank, the reason is not English. The reason is your self-fulfilling prophecy that needs to be changed. My mind goes blank when I speak in English. Does this happen to you? I'm sure this happens. That's the reason why you're watching this video. And let me tell you why this happens. If you think that this happens because of grammar, absolutely wrong. If you think that my vocabulary is not good, sir, because of this it happens, absolutely wrong. This happens because I get nervous, absolutely wrong. That's not the reason. If you think any other reasons, that's not the reason. Let me tell you, your mind goes blank. Why your mind goes blank? In this video, I'm going to tell you why your mind goes blank and I'm going to tell you a very simple solution to come, up, come out of this problem. Your friends understand one thing. English communication is not about grammar. It's not about mastering vocabulary each and every word. It's not about perfection, accuracy, all the tenses to by heart. Stop that. You will be surprised. My videos are different if you're watching this first time. It's all about the way you think. The way you think. It's about that. It's not about the English. It's about the psychology. 80 to 90% is psychology. Hardly 10, 15% is English. And the same problem happens here. Have, do you, have, you, have you experienced this? That you, you go and talk with your boss or you go and give a presentation. You go and uh, give an interview, your mind goes blank. Why this happens with you? Many of you are puzzled. Well, understand one thing. Your mind goes blank means exactly what happens, I'll tell you. Your mind goes blank means you get anxious. You get anxious and it all blocks. Has it happened with you? Now, this is called as a psychological factor, syndrome it is called, and that is called as self-fulfilling prophecy. Listen to me. Now, many of you, you're watching the video. Why do you watch your video? Because you believe that your English is bad, right? See the word I used, my English is bad. And with this belief, when you go and start conversation with someone, this belief acts as a self-fulfilling prophecy. What it means? It means in this way, simple it is. See, it's in this way that when you believe in something, like in this case, when you believe that my English is bad, it impacts your performance. It is not the English that is the problem. It is the belief that my, my English is bad. Now what happens when you believe in this, it becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy. It means what? With this belief, when you go, this year my English is bad, my English is bad. And when you try and speak, you will make mistakes. And the reason behind making mistake is not English, the reason is you believe that your English is bad. This belief creates self-fulfilling prophecy. Means you see the proof. You see the proof and you say, yeah, look, look at this. I already had, had told, I knew that my English is bad. I made a mistake. Now what happens? When you make a mistake, again, it becomes, you, be, you become sure that yes, my English is bad. I got a proof. I got, this is all the mind game here. All the mind game here. This is the reason why your mind goes blank. Uh, am I able to connect with you? Am I making sense? Is it happening? Is it true? You, you tell me, you tell me, you write in the comments. What do you feel about this? Hey, dear friends, we are going to approach English in a new way, not the traditional and conventional way of grammar and sentences and vocabulary. There is a, the right path is there and this is the right path. How to come out of this? How to come out of this? And the answer is simple. You have to change your thought process. You should stop saying that my English is bad. And you should believe that your English is not bad. Your English is better. Well, now how to do that actually? It's not like you can just uh, go and start saying to yourself, my English is, my English is good, my English is... Affirmations, well, here it's not going to help you. Definitely you can have the affirmations that, yeah, my English is good. I'm working on my English. I'm getting better. But that's not going to help you. What's going to help you? 
is going and talking to people. Going and talking to people. When you more and more talk, that is what I do in my institute. I change the self-fulfilling prophecy of my students by giving them a very conducive and supportive surrounding. Initially, they are very nervous and they go blank. They go blank. Most of the students go blank. But after some days, maybe one month, maybe sometimes two months, they start opening. They open up and they start communicating and talking. And what happens? This self-fulfilling prophecy, which they were believing my English is bad, is broken because they start talking. And the person in front of them is able to understand. Is able to understand. He responds. Then the psychology starts working. And then inside your mind, that self-talk starts. And the talk says, well, my English is not that bad. He can understand. He responds. He communicates. I can communicate. He understands. We are having a nice conversation. Wow! That loop is broken. That loop was broken. And in this way, you stop believing that my English is bad. And you start conversing. You start getting better. That is what we do in our institute. We have, in our institute, we have some students who are average, some are good, some are very good. So they are put in one group and they interact with each other. That helps them to change their belief system that my English is bad. That makes a big difference. Hello. Did you get it? What I'm saying? Did you get it? What do you feel about this? What do you feel about this? Why do you go blank? Write in the comments. What do you think? What do you think? Why do you go blank? Write in the comments. I want to know your answer. Thanks a lot for watching this video. And next time, when your mind goes blank, the reason is not English. The reason is your self-fulfilling prophecy. That needs to be changed. Thanks a lot. Again, as usual, namaste, goodbye. Thank you.